your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, shut up and solve with him. Who's him? He's me. Professor Sabrina J. Berry. That's how I introduce myself from Berry Science Lab. Today, we will be looking at light contraction. Oh, hey, Albert Einstein. Let me to see you here. So, well, in 1905, let me just give you an introduction to light contraction. 1905, Albert Einstein was sitting in his patent office in Switzerland when he came up with a revolutionary idea. Special relative that called for time not being absolute, a light not being absolute, or hell, not even a really anything being absolute, except speed, that gets a pass. And then, well, he was challenging Newton's ground. And what? I think he found out that he was right. You know what happened? You know who woke up from the grave? Blindness. <laughs> yep, that's what he actually did. But, well, his grave was thousands of miles away from Albert Einstein's patent office in Switzerland, so we never got to see him raving. Let's just go at the speed of light. That's not the speed of light. But, first, let's consider T. T is always D over D, right? Right? So T, well, it's L naught over V. Hmm. By the way, I'll just be defining gamma is 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared to make things a bit simpler. So, t is l naught over v. But what is t naught then? Well, that would be l over v. I know it seems confusing, but stick with it. It'll get good in a second. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is, well, t is actually equal to T naught gamma. No, that's not gamma. That's gamma. And so, oh no. And so, what happens when we divide both sides by gamma? That means T naught is also equal to L naught over V gamma. We have it. No, that's not gamma, Dumbo. That's gamma. So we have a special visitor. But we know P naught is also L over V. Special visitors even more? <gasps> oh my god. So anyway. This is, well, oh, oh god, I canceled out the, damn it, I am so not used to writing gamma. Greek, Greek people, can you just make your well, letters a bit easier to write? Thank you. That's going to be L naught square root of 1 minus V squared over C squared. 